Hi, my name is Virginia Young. I will be narrating this video tutorial on search tips for your research and nursing class. The objectives of this tutorial are to help you find the course guide that is specifically for Nursing 350 research in Canvas. You'll also find on that course guide help for APA citation, how to plan a search and find peer-reviewed articles in CINAHL, what else you can do to filter down your search or use different terms, and how to find the full text or use interlibrary loan to get the full text of articles. Here you will see an image of Nursing 350 in Canvas. On the left side, you'll see a Lemoyne Library link circled. Click that link to see the Nursing 350 Library Course Guide. Now that you have the Nursing 350 Library Guide open, I will just highlight on this page a few key links. To the far right, you'll see Ask Us by Chat. This is a chat service either with a Lemoyne librarian during our hours or with a live person um, that works with a chat service. So this will always be a person answering your question and it's not automated. On the left side in the green navigation area, I'll hit on two of the links that we'll talk about in this video. The first one, uh, the lower link is how to find help with APA citation. We have a page just for that. And then above that is the link to find research articles in the literature. And that will take you to a page that has direct links to the databases to find research abstracts. Here you can see what the Find APA Help tab looks like on the Nursing 350 Guide. I highly recommend the Purdue Online Writing Lab because it gives all kinds of examples of citations and it also has sample papers. So you can see what the entire paper should look like in APA style. Here you can see the screen when you click find research articles slash the literature, this is giving you links to directly to databases where you can start searching. I circled in red CINAHL with a little text and also PubMed. CINAHL stands for the Cumulative Index of Nursing and Allied Health Literature, and we recommend that as well as PubMed for health sciences articles. On the bottom, I also indicated with a red circle, a PDF document that will help you um, find full text. If you don't see a PDF right away, we can get full text for you either via ILL or other holdings that we have in the library. Now that you have a good idea on how to find a place to get started from Canvas using the Nursing 350 course guide on the library site, it helps to plan your search before you start entering terms into either CINAHL or PubMed. There is a search strategy worksheet on the guide, but it really helps to define your topic by asking, the, asking a question. I've given an example here about is exercise effective to prevent heart attacks. Then you could pick out the main words don't use this sentence when you search. You just pick out the main words or concepts to search. And then it helps to have alternative words to try. So uh, we call those synonyms or sometimes subject headings or CINAHL headings can help you think of different words and terms to use in your search. On this screen, you will see what CINAHL looks like when you open it and enter in your first set of search terms. You can see underneath each line, there's an AND. This is a connector, which can be changed to OR if you are searching synonyms. But right now, we want to be sure all of these search terms appear in our article, so we will leave them on AND. To quickly review using subject headings versus using keywords in your search, when you search with a keyword, the database looks for exactly and only what you have typed in. This is how a Google search works. 
When you use a database that has subject headings, you can use those to expand your results, and these are created by the database experts, and they assign terms that are related, so they don't have to be exactly the words that you type in. This screen shows what CINAHL headings look like when you scroll down below the search fields. You can click on CINAHL headings, type in your search term, and see what subjects CINAHL suggests that you search. For example, I have entered heart attack, and CINAHL suggested underneath that I should try perhaps myocardial infarction as a synonym or alternative word to try. Databases offer limits or filters to quickly bring the results down to a manageable number if you have so many that you can't review them all. Limits and filters can include the year the article was published, what language it's in, what age group or population you're looking for, what type of publication the article is, such as a systematic review, or whether or not the article is peer-reviewed. You will see that limit in CINAHL. Now that we have a few search terms entered into the CINAHL Advanced Search screen, let's look at how limits can filter down your results so that you are only looking at the most relevant instead of a really long list of results. If you scroll down, you'll see filters with the yellow underline and then all sorts of options to reduce the result list. You can put in a date filter. You can put in a certain journal. I always suggest to have the peer-reviewed filter on so that the articles you are looking at are from academic scholarly journals. There are some evidence-based practice filters and clinical queries that would give you a very specific type of research study. There are filters for whether the author of the article is a nurse and also a randomized controlled trial filter if you're only interested in that level of evidence. All of these other filter types could come in handy to really, if you've got thousands of results and really want to narrow it down quickly, you could look at a publication type filter, um, only looking at maybe a metasynthesis or high level of evidence article, maybe articles that are only about interventions um, given by nurses. So anyway, here are all these options to limit the type of publication your uh, article you're looking at. You can look at inpatient, outpatient research, really a lot of great filters to make sure the article is really on target for what you're looking for. On this slide are a few search tips to help narrow your search or even to help find more articles. One thing you can do is keep trying. Um, the first search is usually not the one that you find the best articles, so please keep trying different synonyms, different keywords and headings, subject headings, and uh, that you'll get a different variety of results. You can find a really good article and then scroll down to the references in that article. So often there are really closely related reference articles that you could then look up and use as well. And then Google Scholar is really great to use to find, uh, if your article is a little bit older, you can find more recent articles that cite yours. So when an article cites yours, often, again, it's something that is very closely related and you could use it for your own research. And then a review article is an article that puts together all types of original studies. And very often they will cite some original research in their references and you can use those for additional articles as well. Please contact me with any questions on your research with the information you see here. You can also, if I'm not available, use the Ask Us feature on our library website to talk to or chat, email, and immediately get a response from a librarian. Thank you.